Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very tragic news coming out of Jerusalem. Yesterday, there was an attack claimed by ISIS on Jerusalem. According to Arut Shiva, who's reporting about this, says the Islamic State says three lions of the caliphate carried out stabbing and shooting attack in the old city of Jerusalem. That included, by the way, Zedekiah's cave, where they first attacked. They were shot and killed by uh, the security forces that were there, as well as a stabbing attack of Hadassah Malka, a 23-year-old border guard there at the uh, entrance of Damascus Gate inside uh, of the old city there. Very serious situation. Hamas also uh, said in a statement that the attack uh, in Jerusalem is renewed proof of the continued revolution of the people against the occupier and the intifada continues until full freedom is uh, attained. A third terrorist, as it said, stabbed Malka, who was stationed at the Damascus Gate. Malka was taken to Adassa Mount Scopolis Hospital in critical condition where she later succumbed to her injuries. Four other people who suffered light to moderate injuries were taken to the Sharia Sadiq Hospital. Very, very troubling news to find this out going on there. And it also reminds me of the prophecy of Ezekiel chapter 35, specifically when we're looking at verse 5, because thou had a hatred of old and has hurled the children of Israel into the power of the sword. And the time of their calamity and the time of their iniquity had an end. Of course, the time of their calamity is 70 AD when it was only used by swords. There weren't guns at that time there. But at the time, their iniquity has an end. Daniel's prophecy, chapter 9, we're looking at right there. That is modern days. And of course, the very one indicted for all of these evils is none other than Adam. Adam being Rome. And we already know from the reports we've done here before on Israeli News Live, the uh, very spokesman for the Vatican of Foreign Affairs there uh, happened to be, uh, gosh, I'm kind of blank on his name for just a moment there, many times before on Israeli News Live there. Uh, was his actual name for the Catholic Church there, saying there would be no peace in Jerusalem until all the sites, the holy sites, are dealt with there. Very serious uh, accusation there, and of course, we see this being carried out by not only the Islamic State, but many times by the Third Antifada going on in Jerusalem. I believe the Third Antifada is a is certainly prophecy being fulfilled in Ezekiel chapter 35, specifically verse 5. And speaking of the caliphate, Russian news, Eurasia Daily in the Russian language came out uh, today saying that uh, that the leader of the of the ISIS group there, al-Baghdadi, has officially been confirmed to be killed. According to the article here, as we're looking here in the Russian language here, right around this paragraph here, the SU-35 and 34 attacks there, back on, uh, I believe it says right here, May the 28th there, was indeed took out the caliphate there. The head of the caliphate, al-Baghdadi, according to the article here, they're claiming they have been killed from the ground along with 30 other uh, operatives. Uh, leaders of the opposition in different parts of the countries in the surrounding areas there. Al-Baghdadi among those, along with 300 security officials that go wherever these leaders go, also killed or wounded in this particular strike there. Um, it was a very major blow. In fact, according to the Russian officials, they were discussing their exit of Raqqa going south towards Del Azor to continue in the battle there. We'll be talking about that in, an, in another broadcast a little bit later today. In fact, you're going to see several more broadcasts here. We have very specific breaking stories that we want to share with you independently of each other because of the seriousness of what we're seeing there. Also, Qatar, Sputnik News saying Qatar crisis is the first real failure of U.S. policy in the Middle East. And I can certainly understand why, because after President Trump uh, declares them a major supporter of terrorism when he's uh, in Riyadh, uh, only to be in the, the capital of terrorism, only to turn around and do military drills with Qatar and even supply, uh, supply a new cell of uh, fighter planes to the country as well. So it's becoming a, a quagmire for the Trump administration. The, the words of President Trump has stated and then his actions being to the contrary of that. And as many of you are probably already aware, uh, the collision of a commercial liner with uh, a with the 
U.S. Navy destroyer in the, uh, the J Japanese Sea, about 56 miles from the Japanese coast. The, uh, was seven, there are seven people missing, according to the report of RT. Three have been injured in this collision of this ship. The ship was taking on a lot of water, was listing also to the right. And, uh, but the ship has made it back in. That's USS Fitzgerald that has made it back into port of the Japanese port there. We have followed that, saw that they did make it back into the port of Japan there with the help of the Japanese uh, government and Coast Guard. Uh, helping them to get back to that point there. Uh, I want to bring one other thing to you. We will be coming to the United States uh, this summer, uh, be in August, and we really are, are hoping uh, uh, for your support and helping to do that. You can do that by visiting Israeli News Live. Um, so we'll be coming to the United States this summer in August. Uh, we'll be hosting a conference there uh, outside of Atlanta, Georgia. I wanted to share that with you. It's in Duluth, Georgia. Uh, the Institute of Biblical Research will present the Summer 2017 Conference. You can go to the website we put up for this called globalversusflatearth.com. Now, the conference is not fully about that. It's also about transhumanism, uh, something that Yana, my wife, will be speaking on. Uh, she'll be speaking on transhumanism, very serious situation going on in the world today and where our future is headed. Uh, but we'll also be hosting a debate between Dr. Stephen Pidgeon and author uh, Zin Garcia about whether or not the earth is flat or global. And just for your own knowledge, I don't have an opinion one way or the other on this. I have seen both sides of the argument, and thus the reason why we are sponsoring this debate is because there seems to be so much interest in it. And we really wanted to take two people that we know uh, we know both Dr. Pigeon and author uh, Garcia, and we wanted to have them as brothers come and debate this in a friendly Christian environment. Now, I'll also be speaking at the conference. It's a two-day conference. It is August 5th and 6th. I'll be speaking on Sunday the 6th uh, for two hours, uh, Sunday morning, about uh, the Middle East and the prophecies and what we're seeing that is happening there. Uh, my wife, we have uh, quite a few speakers actually at the event here. Uh, we will also be seeing that my, uh, my wife, Yana Benun, she'll be speaking about the transhumanism. Laurel Austin, who's been a guest here on Israeli News Live before, will be speaking about vaccines and the dangers of it. Of course, Dr. Pigeon and, and Zen Garcia will also both uh, speak at the event besides the fact that they will debate uh, the issue of whether or not the earth is flat or, or round. Uh, and, of course, I'll speak on Sunday as well. Uh, we'll be moderating the event. We hope that you're able to make it. No doubt will be a blessing for many of you. Again, it is reserved seating. There's only 150 seats available at the event. Uh, we do have a ticket for $25. For, it covers both days. Uh, the hotel that we're having it at uh, also will, um, you're able to stay at it. It's the Holiday Inn there in uh, Duluth. And uh, again, everything is kind of limited on the amount of seating that we could do. Uh, we did limited seating mainly because the short notice of the conference, it's only a little over a month away, and we knew not many people could have the time to really get together for that. We are planning another conference. We haven't set it up as of yet, probably in Orlando. It'll be only be a half-day conference. Uh, where me and my wife will be speaking in the evening. We may end up doing it as a full day. We haven't really decided as of yet. That'll be later in the fall. Uh, and again, still do not know the date on that. But definitely, uh, you can go online here. You can uh, register. You can get your tickets here. Uh, and we hope to see you there in Duluth, Georgia. Be glad to meet some of you as we get back to that area there. Anyway, uh, do watch more Israeli News Live. We have two more broadcasts coming out after this to after this broadcast here. Very serious stories that are breaking. And also later this evening on Dune Institute, going to be discussing some prophecies that I know will be a blessing to you all. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.